Hi, my name is Jimmy Williams with NFL Draft Diamonds, and we are the scouting staff for the Hula Bowl. Today I have with me Anthony Cook. Uh, he's a safety out of uh, Texas, Texas Longhorn. So um, and nice to see you again, sir. Nice to see you again, man. You're looking good. Well, I appreciate that. I mean, I, uh, I I try a little bit at least to, you know, trim up and look nice, but you you look good yourself. Um, I know you've been uh, training hard lately, um, but man, I uh, want to give other people an opportunity to meet you, share your story, and uh, somewhat curious about your hula bowl experience and everything else you got going on. So, uh, Anthony, why don't you go ahead and um, Give the people uh, some of your background, if you don't mind. Start from your high school days and how you actually got there to, to uh, Texas. Yeah, um, so I went to Houston Lamar. Um, it's in the River Oaks area, if you're familiar with uh, Houston. Uh, I mean, if you're not familiar with Houston. Um, so I played uh, corner um, in high school, and uh, I ended up, like, basically playing all all the all, uh, DB positions um, in college, so. Yeah, I mean, I know you've done uh, some some nickel, uh, some corner, some safety, pretty much played everywhere there in that secondary. Um, so um, let's go back to those high school days, man. Um, obviously, um, going to Lamar, um, actually pretty, co pretty good school, uh, if, if people don't know. Um, uh, what was it like playing uh, there for your your high school and um, uh, during those days? I mean, were you an offensive player as well? Um, they gave me a couple plays like here and there, but I really wasn't an um, offensive player. They like let me return um, um, punts as well, like every like I mean kick returns like um, every once in a while. But I mean, we had a lot of great athletes, man. So it wasn't a lot of going both ways. You know what I mean, like. I don't, I'm not too sure of too many guys from my high school who went, you know, both ways. I think like my senior class, we had nine or 10 guys who, who signed D1. You know what I mean? So, I mean, that right there just, you know, tells you the level of talent, you know, that I, that, I, that we played with. Well, I mean, definitely, uh, like I said, I mean, a very prestigious high school, which um, really churns out a lot of great talent. Um, during your time there, did you do any other sports besides football? Yeah, um, I ran track. I did uh, ran the hurdles, 300 hurdles, uh, and I played uh, basketball my freshman year, but I ended up uh, stopped playing because the coaches told me I had to choose one. So obviously, <laughs> play football. Um, so uh, some coaches have mixed feelings as to um, you know, guys playing multiple sports, but I mean, uh, obviously, you chose to uh, stick with this game of football. So, um, I gotta ask. What do you love most about football? The winning. <laughs> no, nah, but um, like I, mean, I just love the game. You know, I love everything that come with it. Like I've been playing it, you know, since yay high. So this is really all I know. You know what I mean? Like I was sitting, you know, thinking the other day, like man, um, sometimes I don't really give the 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 or I don't acknowledge in my mind like how amazing this game is. You know, because I've been playing it for so long, but. I mean, I, I just love everything. I love the physical aspect of it. I love the cerebral part. Um, I love the preparation that goes into it. And then all for one, you know, one day game day. So I just love everything about it. I love the grind year round. And I, and I love it all. So when, were you, when you were a little kid, um, was there a player in the league that you, uh, I don't know, maybe really liked? I mean, who was your favorite player growing up? Uh, I'll probably say Ladani and Thompson, just because he's from um, around the way where I'm from, um, Waco, Texas. I grew up in Houston, but I'm originally from Waco, Texas. But Ladani and Thompson, that's that's probably who I who I say. And then when I got old enough to to really um, you know start studying the game, as far as like who who I want to be like, you know, in my position and stuff. Like you know, I, I grew up watching high school like Richard Sherman or Marcus Peters, uh, um, guys like that. Yeah, and um, obviously, I mean, your defensive back um, playing for the Texas Longhorns. Um, uh, when you, when I think of Texas Longhorn football, man, I mean, dude, there's a lot of great people uh, that that come out of that uh, institution. So, uh, what was it like to play for them and and that uh, really just historic team? Like you said, man, it's it's an historic team, man. That's 
a great, you know, a uh, great honor. It was a, it was a great honor, man. Um, you know, just, 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 just the whole idea of, you know what I mean? Um, you know, coming from where I come from, a lot of people had an opportunity, opportunity to, um, you know, go to college and play, play football. And then to be able to play at a, a, at a university like Texas, man, man, I owe everything in Texas. You know, I, I've learned so much. I've developed like so much over the years, you know, through, through football. And, you know, I'm just amazed, like how far this sport has taken me. Yeah, and um, I guess the other thing too, man, is uh, you get an education from uh, from a great institution as well. Um, uh, what would you ultimately get your degree in? Physical culture and sports. Physical culture and sports. So, um, yeah. um, what exactly does that mean? I guess this is the question. I mean, what I tell everybody is basically just like sports management. So I learned a lot about the body and stuff like that. Um, like after football, I still want to be um, around the game. You know, whether that's training or, or doing something of that nature. So I feel like, uh, I mean, well, that's why I took, um, you know, that major. That's why I majored in that. So what would you say was like maybe your most difficult class there? Man, it's some, man, it's some difficult classes. Honestly, every class, like, I mean, Lamar prepared me a lot. Lamar prepared me a lot for Texas, but Texas is no cakewalk. Um, let me see. My most difficult class, I'll probably say psychology. Man, I struggled so much with that class, like. And then taking it at UT, but like I took it at UT, this I could tell the difference. So I took it at UT and it was extremely hard. And then my um advisor, she's like, okay, let's just try to take it at a community college at Odessa and then get the credits transferred. So I did that. And then I just seen the difference. Like that's how I'm able to tell you, like um Texas is, is a part of the academic system, tough school. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, academics are are real deal there, uh, too. I mean, obviously football is king. Um, and you were part of a a great secondary. Um, uh, talk about that defense and and how you fit in that uh, that that secondary there. So um, uh, go ahead. Uh, from this past year, at, uh, Texas. Oh, just in general, man. I mean, obviously, w- w- there's a few years there. So um, yeah, yeah, it's definitely. Um, I play I play with uh, you know, some amazing guys. Um. And I play different roles, you know, with different guys. So that, that that's the beauty in it. Like, like I was like I get to learn and um, you know, just receive a different perspective from, you know, all those guys. But um I, I'll probably say like just playing with those guys, um, you know, it was a great feeling. It was amazing, you know, to me. And then ultimately, I mean, dude, you're a very experienced guy there at the end. I mean, I want to say like 60 games total is what you uh, had your uh, your hands in. I mean, and I, and I guess really what comes with that is, um, uh, again, experience, um, probably some leadership too, man. I mean, um, are you uh, the kind of guy, I mean, do you see yourself as a leader? I definitely do. I just don't feel like I'm a vocal leader, though, or as vocal as I, as I should be at times. Um I definitely view myself as a leader um, far as just, I feel like um, a leader to me, like, let me just give you my definition. So like, I won't just be telling you like, cause everybody got different definitions of, of a leader, but a leader sure. to me is um, someone who brings, you know, people together and then someone who, uh, you know, put others before them. And then ultimately like at its core level, I feel like somebody who's inspired, who, who inspires people, you know what I mean? So like, I definitely feel like I was all those things at Texas. Cool. Well, I mean, um, again, I mean, put to get put together a very solid career there. Um, what do you feel separates you as a prospect looking forward? Honestly, just my versatility and then my uh, physicality. Um, uh, it's a lot of things: my physicality, my preparation, um, my work ethic. Um, but I, I don't, I don't like. There's no fear when I'm on the field. So, and I have no uh, regard for my for my body. I play with recklessness, abandonment. You know what I mean. So, I don't think it's a lot of guys like that. A lot of guys, you know, protect themselves. Like, I don't care. Like, I broke my form and I kept playing because, like, that's how much I love the game. Like, hmm. Well, I mean, uh, definitely a guy who I feel um, does have that versatility. Like you said, I mean, I know you have played. Uh, practically everywhere in that secondary and very experienced there as well. Um, Anthony, I know you uh, recently had your pro day. 
Um, so let's talk about that for a second. Um, How did you think you did? I think it was a really um, successful day. Um, I think I helped myself. Um, yeah, my numbers were my numbers were were good. You know, you know what I mean. Like, um, I feel like the training and everything um, came together. Like, I really feel like it was a solid day. Yeah, I mean, um, you go out there, show some uh, good change of direction, and you go out there um, and prove yourself in those drills and uh, set you up, man. I mean, hopefully you you went out there and you impressed some scouts. Um, I know you impressed our scouts. I mean, um, we obviously invited you to the Hula Bowl. Um, we wanted, uh, we really wanted you at our event. Um, and to be quite honest with you, man, um, I was very proud of uh, the roster we put together overall. But I, I really freaking loved our safeties. Um, so, uh, talk about, uh, I guess, that whole experience for you, whether it, the, whether it be the call the flight, the week, week of activities, anything about the hula bowl you want to share? Uh, first of all, you know, um, I just want to say, you know, um, I appreciate the hula bowl for, you know, just extending that um, opportunity to me, you know what I mean? Um, but it was a, like, the entire experience to me was second to none. Um, everybody had, you know, good class. Everybody had good hospitality. Um, and then the connections, you know, I, couple of the guys I played against in um, college, so I already knew them, but for the guys that I didn't know, you know those connections, and they still last. And so, like, guys supported me on my pro day that I met at the Hula Bowl, and I'm supporting them at their pro day, you know, you know things like that. And um, the competition, you know what I mean? It was good competition at the Hula Bowl. Uh, the coaches, you know what I mean? It was a lot of experience uh, and wisdom, you know, with the coaches. Um, so I really enjoyed that part of it. And then I jo- I enjoyed the activities, you know, uh, you know the things we did, you know, um, together. So I, I felt like that was kind of special, um, as well. Um, but I mean, overall, it, it was just an amazing experience, and uh, I'm so glad I, you know, I had the opportunity to to, to experience that. So um, we did a couple of of events, which um, uh, some were uh, you know, educational, and some were just fun, man. I mean, uh, be honest with you, I really liked the um. The bowling. I know that sounds silly, but I mean, going out and just having a very chill evening where everybody could just relax, have a good time. Um, how'd you do that, man? Were you a decent bowler or what? Um, I don't think I had a form and everything down. I mean, but long as the pants fall, right? <laughs> right, right, right. Well, I mean, hey, it's again, you just go out there and have a good time. Like, Dude, I was joking around there towards the end, doing some crazy stuff that I would never do. Like if I was trying, really trying to compete, but um, it was just really fun. It's fun to go out there and uh, have a good time and uh, really just make connections and and build relationships. Which I think that's one of the biggest things uh, about an all star event like the like the Hula Bowl. Um, and I guess part of that too is. Um, bro, you had a chance to sit down with some NFL scouts and do some interviews. Um, how did those go? Man, those have been great. Um, I had a, uh, I had a, I had a handful, you know, uh, 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 interviews, you know, and it was good. It was just a good conversation, you know. They just getting to know me, asking me different questions, and um, you know, I really feel like I really feel like uh, you know, they helped me like just that extra exposure. Cool. I mean, uh, like uh, ballpark, like how many uh, teams do you think you sat down with? I'll probably say like ten or twelve. 10, 12, certainly fair. Um, so um, that, that's a nice number overall. So, um, Anthony, I know you've had a lot of uh, great moments, a lot of great games, but um, uh, talk me through one of those highlights for you. Like when you look at the entirety of your career, um, give me at least one of those moments. Uh, share one of those w- with me and the people that might be watching this. I've been asked this before, so I'm going to answer pretty quickly, but um... – I'll just say uh, the Sugar Bowl, the Sugar Bowl, um, my freshman year, like uh, just us getting there and then, you know, playing the SEC team, you know, and, and dominating. Um, that was an amazing feeling. You know, winning is fun, you know, so that, that that's my most, uh, I guess, uh, best moment um, in my mind. Yeah, I mean, and like we've already mentioned, I mean, you've been part of some really great teams, some great defenses. 
uh, put together a lot of solid wins there for that program and um, really set yourself up with a pretty solid resume. So um, hopefully you, um, uh, you know, had a chance to, to go out there and, and showcase your talent in front of a lot of scouts. So um, Anthony, do you want to take a, a brief moment to talk uh, not football for like maybe a minute or so? Um, is there anything else about you that you feel people need to know? Um, any of your personal um, interests, hobbies, um, passions, um, or anything else about you that you want to share? I mean, I just kind of tell you what type of guy I am. Um, I'm kind of uh, to myself, you know what I mean? Like, I don't really do much. Uh, I watch, you know, I watch, I watch movies. I enjoy watching movies. I enjoy reading books. Uh, I play chess. Um, that's some somebody probably like don't know. Oh, that's a fun fact. Um, but other than that, man, what you get is what you see with me. All right. So, um, just to kind of build off of those a little bit, um, when you're watching TV or some of those movies, um, give me some of the favorite favorites that you like to watch, or maybe even a, a movie quote or something. You said, uh, uh, wait, say, say, say that last part again. Just just some favorites overall, whether it be a, a TV show, a movie, or even a movie quote. Okay, on a TV show, man, I really like Peaky, uh, Peaky Bro uh, Blinders. <laughs> I really like, um, uh, what's that show? I really like uh, Peaky Blinders and then there's oh, Vikings, and I really like uh, Sons of Anarchy. Like those three shows, like, I could watch. I could watch those over and over for the rest of my life. Crazy. Um. Well, I mean, definitely some uh very intense things to watch there. So um. Yeah. Uh. Well, that's cool. Um. Uh. Trying to think of maybe some other things, man. Um. Uh. Favorite cheat meal. I mean, I know you're training all, but I mean, like when you're able to um maybe have a snack or maybe a favorite meal or something. What's your favorite? What's your favorite cheat meal? Hmm. Yeah, I'm simple, man. Um, the the most unhealthiest double cheeseburger with bacon <laughs> uh, that you can make. <laughs> so, um, what where are you getting that down there? Are you making it yourself? Or are you going to like? Uh, uh, it's this place called uh, Dirty Martins. You know that I love. Um, not too far from uh, UT campus, probably like three minutes. But uh, man, they make some of the best, some of the best burgers. That sounds good, man. I don't know if you got an NIL deal from those guys, but um, <laughs> hey, we just we just said your name. So um, hopefully we can uh, get something in there for you. But um, Anthony, um, you've put yourself in a great position right now um, and really put yourself out there in front of a lot of scouts and uh, hopefully put yourself in a position to um, maybe even hear your name called during draft day. I mean, um, what does it feel like to... Uh, be in this moment, like to say that that the thing that I'm an NFL prospect. I mean, let's wrap our minds around that, man. Like, where's your head at these days? It's a, it's surreal, man. It's surreal, you know. Like, I don't know. It's been so much. Like, just just getting here, you know, the whole journey, you know. Like, it's just it's crazy, man. Um, so much time, so much, you know, work so many sacrifices made by me and other people close to me. So like, it's not just a moment for me, you know what I mean? Like someone from my family as well. Like it's much bigger than me, man. Like I, I really can't even like formulate the correct words I want to say just because like, that's fair. How I view it, how I view it. Like, bless well, I mean, it's just, bro, it's just here lately. I've been um, posing that question to people because I, th I think sometimes we get so into the moment that we're not really able to soak it in, you know? Yeah. And, yeah. and so um, hopefully you're able to soak it in over uh, really the next, uh, you know, couple months. And uh, I, I know you will get, uh, you know, your opportunity at the next level uh, to some degree. Um, but I uh, want to give you one last opportunity to reach out to these uh, NFL scouts, man. Tell them why you need to be drafted, uh, part yeah. of their team, and all that. So go ahead and close this with your pitch. Yeah, man. Um, like if you if you're looking for a physical, if you're looking for a physical, 
versatile um, DB who could, you know, blitz cover. Um, I'm a leader. Um, I'm an alpha male, regardless of where I'm at. Um, I mean, if you're just looking for a guy, you know, who's going to be dedicated, who has the work ethic, who's going to be a good locker room guy, who's going to, um, you know, just keep it genuine with his teammates and, and with the coaches, who's going to be respectful, who's going to respect everybody and himself in the building. Like, that's what you're getting when you, when you take a chance on me, you know, you know what I mean? But as far as the football uh, aspect, speak for itself, turn on the film. And, um, you know, I, I think it'll speak for itself. Yeah, I mean, I think so too. I mean, um, Anthony, really appreciate you ha uh, being at the Hula Bowl. I mean, um, you you represent us very well, and um, wish you the very best of luck moving forward. All right, sir. Thank you. All right, again, I got with me Anthony Cook, uh, safety out of Texas. Uh, check this guy out; he's going to be making some plays in the league here soon.